the trap of a variable rate loans. The booming U.S. economy <coughs> is a concern for the Korean economy, when the interest rates are soaring due to concerns about prolonged tightening in the United States, while the Korean won is falling due to a strong dollar. The U.S. economy is still strong thanks to resilient spending despite the high interest rates. In a recent article titled, What Fed Hike, the Wall Street Journal singled out the high ratio of fixed rate loans as the driving force of U.S. private consumption. In the first quarter, 89% of U.S. household debts were fixed rate loans, as most citizens borrowed money with fixed rate loans at 2 to 4 percent. They are not affected by the rate hike. Moreover, regular savings and the money market funds offer 5 percent annual interest. Some people say they can work less and travel more thanks to the low mortgage rate. It could pose a dilemma for the Fed in its battle against inflation, but Korea is ambitious as it has to worry about the borrower's agony whenever interest rates go up. According to the Bank of Korea, 74% of the total household loans are at variable rate as of the end of June. The share has decreased from 78% a year ago, but it is still high. Since 2011, financial authorities have also started to promote fixed rate loans to improve the qualitative structure of household debt, but the measure was not successful. Authorities were more interested in real estate, and it was easier for the banks to lend at variable rate to pass the risk onto the borrowers. In 2020, when household loans increased exponentially, financial authorities were indifferent to the qualitative improvement, such as expanding the share of fixed rate of the loans, as they were bent on tightening loans to control soaring housing prices. The special housing loan, which began earlier this year to increase fixed rate loans, was labeled the loan for high-income earners and the main culprit of expanding household loans after it eliminated the income threshold and offered loans at lower interest rate than commercial banks. While variable rate loan borrowers are agonizing over the interest burden and the household debt is increasing despite the high interest rate, it is getting harder to find a solution. The authorities must focus more on Im improving the quality of household loans, including the conversion of various rate loans to fixed rate ones.